ਜ਼ੁਬਾਂ ਦਰਕਸ਼ ਐ ਮਰਦੇ ਬਿਸਿਆਰ ਦਾ ਕਿ ਫਰਦਾ ਕਲਮ ਨੀਸਤ ਬਰ ਬੇ ਜ਼ੁਬਾਂ ਇਹ ਸੇਜ ਪੁਲ ਯੂਰ ਟੰਗ ਬੈਕ ਓ ਮੈਨ ਹੂ ਥਿੰਕਸ ਹੀ ਨੋਸ ਟੂ ਮਚ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਦੀ ਪੈਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਟੰਗ ਆਫ ਇਟਸ ਓਨ ਵੰਡਰਫੁਲ ਅਟਰੈਂਸ ਕੌਸ਼ਨਰੀ meditative in a certain sense and useful for a man like me to remember on this particular occasion and i would like to go into a small little detail of that particular verse farda qalam nist bar be zuban qalam the pen of the future the qalams were not the kind of pens that we write with they were reed pens and when you shaved them to get it is a thing to point at the to right we always call it a zuban right so the farda qalam ni ist bar be zuban whatever the future will bring we do not know i could be proven wrong tomorrow maybe this instant somebody is writing something on manakur which completely contradict whatever i have said in this but i built a theory around this the theories are all fragile things you know in kabir ji's word balu ki bheet pavan ka khamba it is a wall made of sand it is a pillar made of air that's fragile as that as non existent possibly possibly as that so this balu ki bheet pavan ka khamba which is a kind of a theory with which i start that nanku was so and so probably born in the year 1700 probably died in the year 1760 but whatever remains of this theory of mine or this reconstruction of mine one thing i am certain of his work will survive his work demands not only attention but the greatest respect for this man thought and he took leaps of thought in his work which are beyond belief sometimes i have started taking the geet govind of 1730 which is definitely by manaku as a pivot and with and keeping that pivot in my mind i go backwards and forwards the only way one can proceed what might have gone before that and what came after that particular term 1730 i'll not engage you into any kind of a speculation any further about oh, this i like to turn to the painting that he did this is a painting which gaitonde might have liked very much because there are elements of abstraction in his work in manku's work incidentally the word manaku the name manaku is a very good name right pandit shew his father had two sons and both of them he must be have been a prescient man he gave them wonderful names the younger one called nainsuk the delight of the eye and the older one manaku manaku is a ex- expansion of the term manak which means a ruby precious but those who those who know geol- gemology also know that the ruby is a stone of mystifying thought and that it has a fire inside it which keeps it red like this manku had that fire in his belly manku had that extraordinary ability you know to reach out and do things which nobody before him look at this particular painting which is an iconic painting in my own mind one of the great paintings in the history of indian art probably one of the greatest paintings in the history of indian painting what do we see here it's called the cosmic egg we can call it the golden egg we can call it the golden womb the sanskrit name is hiranyagarbha hiranya is gold garbha womb also in the texts in all texts of all cultures in in texts of all cultures 
there are speculations about how it all began, the origin of this particular world. How did creation begin? We're not into a Big Bang theory.